Hey, welcome to her sh show, her video. I'm just doing coffee, and she wants to record it. So, I'm making Cuban coffee. I'm putting four scoops of sugar. So exciting. And then, I turn it on. Oh, wait. I've got to plug it in. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Alright, that's plugged in. This is tight. Okay, yeah. We're using the Krups Espresso Coffee Maker, by the way. Now, we wait. What are we waiting for? Well, once it gets a... Oh, oh. What? Oh, I forgot the coffee. <laughs> 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 Now I got the coffee. <laughs> Don't turn it on yet. This is the Bustelo espresso, right? Yeah, I think this is the um the black one. The Supreme? Yeah. So what I'm doing is we don't have a packer, so we're just gonna get on fire this shit and pack it in ourselves. I use I use this uh, round spoon, helps me kinda pack it a lot easier since we don't have a packer. Yes, we can get one, but why? This does the same for us. We don't drink too much coffee, but when we drink it, you know, this works. So right now, I'm just going to try to get it packed in pretty tight. I like mine really strong, because I need it to be really, really strong. So I pack it in really good. So there is a line up here that says up to four, which I can't really show you, because I suck at this. But, I'm packing it in as much as I can. If I had a, one of those fancy packers, you could see it better. But, since I like mine's really dark, I pack it in kind of above the line a little bit. See? Good to go. Alright, next step. Get the coffee in. Yeah, see that? Yeah, like that. I pack it in really good. Turn it on, twist it in, lock it in tight. Get this around. Eh, whatever. Doesn't fit. I know I don't have the, the proper stuff for it, so I'm making use of what I have. I just need a little bit in there so I can start stirring up the sugar. Alright, we're just trying to get a little bit in here. Okay, now, so I can get the sugar going. I use my Superman cup now. Kind of get this in here real quick. You might wanna. Now, why, why are you doing this with sugar and a little oh. bit of? A oh yeah, so I'm gonna try to get the froth going a little bit. So. This will give us that foamy flavor on top, or texture, or I don't know how you want to say it. Give me one second. I know it's hard to see right now. I'll stop it a couple times so you can see how it came. Oh. You guys stir it a lot. I like it really foamy. Some people may not. And as you can see, the coffee's getting there. Once this is done, we pour all of that in here. Here, let me see. Okay. Shoot around. There you go. Yes! Cuban coffee from a Chinese guy. <laughs> How long would you stir this for? I, I eye it. It's actually, actually too much sugar. Oh. I don't like it too sweet. It was too much sugar. And this is how we get going. This is how we start our day. Alright, so we're starting to get towards the end of it. Um, uh, one of my Cuban friends, she told me that uh, you can't let it go for too long because towards the end it's called dirty water. I guess it gets really bitter. So as soon as you kind of 
judge it, go ahead and turn it off. Let it go for a little bit until it's done, and then we're going to pour it in here. All right. Just for shooting purposes, I'm going to use three cups, but normally I don't, just to catch this. Since the sugar is all stirred up now, as you guys can see, it's a little frothy, and you'll see what happens next. And you'll see it slowly come up to be more frothy as soon as I keep on stirring the sugar in. Now, this is coffee with no milk in it so far. Correct. There's no milk at all. It looks like it there is, but uh, it's probably the foam. Yeah, it's just the foam and the sugar that I use. Uh, right now, I'm using the organic sugar because that's what I just have here. So that's why I kind of change up the color a little bit. But if you use like regular white sugar, you will not get this brown color. You'll, be, you'll get a very, very, very dark color still. That's it. So you can see how frothy it got. And there goes your Cuban coffee from a Chinese guy.